this country, the discussion in the political area is about the uh, presidential election and uh, uh, candidates who come from various parties. Uh, from the opposition, uh, they are trying to uh, select a common candidate that could uh, satisfy uh, the, everybody in the opposition. Uh, Mind the Rajpaks, uh, Sirisena, uh, and other parties who are going along with them to uh, reduce it to a one candidate from the opposition side. The, the name of Kotabe has been put forward. Maybe he uh, is the candidate. In that case, President will, will have to uh, keep away. If they, uh, there are two candidates from the opposition, it is very clear that it will help uh, the victory of the UNP candidate. Then on the side of the UNP, uh, the person who should contest is not uh, the leader of the uh, uh, government side. That is Rani Vikrams. Because he is already in power. He is the Prime Minister and he has the uh, power uh, of the parliament and also the executive power through the cabinet. Uh, president is at the moment, the under 19th uh, amendment, uh, is a uh, secondary leader. Uh, he is not the uh, primary leader or the uh, executive in the country. Hence, uh, they are looking for a person to contest and become the uh, president and uh, clear the path for the Prime Minister to carry on without disturbing as it is now. The new, uh, in this situation, uh, President Sirisena sometimes disturb uh, things uh, for the Prime Minister. That should be avoided. Now, uh, at the moment, the uh, person who is much, much popular uh, in the, the government side is uh, uh, Sajid Premadas. He is uh, popular among the Sinhala masses. Uh, but uh, we have to find out what his attitude towards the Tamil national question and about the Muslims and so on. Particularly whether he is prepared to accept the 13th Amendment and go forward. And also uh, to uh, accept uh, unity with power share. Actually, we raised the question. He says here he is prepared to accept and go forward. And he has started doing so. Uh, we see that uh, uh, opposition leader uh, Sambandha also uh, taking part in his campaign. Uh, we believe that uh, Sambandha also has come into the uh, site of the campaign uh, with uh, uh, Sajid uh, because uh, they are also convinced that uh, Sajid is uh, capable of uh, going through uh, 13th Amendment and also uh, to implement uh, unity with power share. So this, uh, uh, it, is, uh, it is a new uh, uh, situation uh, which was forecast by uh, Finance Minister earlier. He said uh, uh, Sajid will be the candidate from our side. So it becoming well, other, on the other hand, there, there is a campaign from the trade unions and the left circles uh, to put forward a Rajit. But as it is in the uh, uh, UNP 
support areas and other areas, uh, this campaign has not gone uh, forward. It is still in the uh, Colombo area and among left areas only. So whatever it may be, uh, uh, with the uh, Rajita come forward or Sajit come forward, uh, they have to be uh, 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 come out clearly uh, for the uh, implementation of the uh, 13th Amendment and uh, unity with power share. Then only they can uh, be sure to win the game and go forward. On the other hand, about the capital punishment. The capital punishment uh, uh, is opposed by all the democratic people throughout the world and in the uh, developed world. Only in the recent period, uh, American president said again that uh, uh, he will implement uh, this uh, death penalty for various uh, uh, but in general uh, it is rejected in all developed countries. Now this uh, uh, idea of uh, eliminating a person because he has done something uh, bad uh, killed somebody or any other uh, disastrous thing is uh, uh, not entirely on the basis of uh, giving uh, something positive to the society. There is underneath the uh, uh, idea that uh, the person who killed is somehow uh, uh, not a human being in the sense that of uh, ethics of the society. Society has, and since he has uh, uh, rejected or challenged the uh, ethics of the society, he has to be eliminated. Because if this uh, rejection of uh, ethical norms of the society, uh, then it will become very dangerous and uh, it could uh, uh, change the uh, so, uh, social uh, existence. That is the argument. Now, this is uh, the argument of uh, fascists. Uh, German fascists, uh, they said, the uh, Jews are uh, to be eliminated because their thinking is so and their ethical norms are not Aryan. Not the same as the Aryan whom they call the uh, great human uh, movement and they are the uh, ethical norms of the people are very high and uh, Jews are, uh, 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 they belong to a uh, section of the humans who are ethically un unacceptable to us. Therefore, we must eliminate them. That is the argument. It is the argument of uh, saying that there are uh, 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 humans of various kinds on the basis of ethics of uh, uh, humanity. Some are ethically higher, others ethically lower. The lower elements have, should be cleaned up by, of our human society. This dangerous view is still there. In Sri Lanka, some people who uh, come out with, for, for the uh, capital punishment, uh, they say Muslims uh, in the Quran, they say there are uh, things they should kill yeah, in order to uh, punish and that kind of thing are they are in the uh, uh, teachings and therefore they should be uh, separated now. This is the argument of fascism. And uh, they create ideas, they create ethical uh, norms uh, about Muslims, uh, say that they are 
that point is unethical this is a dangerous and therefore this kind of thinking should be eliminated from our society this elimination theory is a very dangerous idea and we have to uh, crush this campaign uh, on the basis of uh, humanity